Uh, since I had to uh, drop the belly pan in several places, I thought this would be a good, good time to videotape exactly what's underneath that black chloroplast belly pan material. So we'll start with the front. Uh, I got the front rear, front, front corner pulled down and I'll show you what's inside there. So this is a view of the gray tank over there and the black tank over there and in between is where they meet and drop down on your sewer tank pipe and it heads out. You can see they run a lot of their wiring along this channel. So if you ever need to get at the wiring, this is the side to go. So let's see if we can have a view down in there. They're mostly looking between the two tanks. Big empty space. Yeah, you can see up here. Between the grey tank and the black tank. We don't really have a whole lot of nothing. This view here would be underneath the bed. This is your uh, insulated material. It comes in your polar package. Sort of a reflective bubble material. Back up to show you how thick that is. It's not the thickest of material. Maybe like a quarter inch thick. And there's where people have gone a little bit foam happy. That's your two valve, black tank valve. Goes into this Y gray tank valve. That's why when you open the black tank valve, you have it wide open and then you open up your gray tank valve the water will come shooting out and it will actually shoot up into your gray tank for a while so it's kind of handy for giving your black tank an, an extra wash out from your gray tank also from down here you can get at your sensor wires if you ever wanted to upgrade your tank sensors. You can see this green, red, yellow, and white bolted into the tank. And get the same over on the black tank. You can see them bolted in up there. That's your, your tank sensors. Here's where the propane comes up, over there. This is showing you just in front of the black tank. You can see where the furnace venting comes down over there. And the slide motor right there. So this is a flap that I cut open just between the axles here. And this is where the galley tank dump valve is located. You can see the handle over there. That's the one that's hard to get at. And a lot of people don't even know it's there when they first get the trailer. Conveniently placed right under the slide. Dope. You can see some of the wiring. This is all headed over towards the, the converter and where the fridge and stove are. So it'll shine the light that way. You 
see what's down there. There you can see where it pops up where the converter is. And that looks like the propane for the stove and the fridge. And looking that way, you can see there's not much not much to be seen under here. It's just a big air gap. Showing you the space between the galley tank and the fresh water tank. Not a lot here at all, other than the rail for the slide. Now we're in the back back corner, right at the back of the trailer, and all we got back here is white fresh water tank and you can see there's more wiring coming back here for the trailer lights and some of the back back AC lights and the water pump wiring and you can see there's the water fill and water pickup vent hose and some more of the indicator sensor bolts. Man, your dream.